Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ask Amber and today I'm going to go over a little bit about animations and animators. So this is a really important step. You need to know how to make animations and it's actually really easy and I'm going to show you how right now. So I'm going to start by clicking on my main avatar and I'm going to make a duplicate because I always want to make a duplicate when working with animations so that my avatar doesn't get stuck in a weird animation pose. So I'm just going to push uh, command or control D to duplicate and I'm going to turn off my main avatar and I'm going to be working on the duplicate right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this duplicate, I'm going to click on animation, and let's say that I want to animate her ears coming off and coming on, and I want to put that as a toggle later on. In order to do that, I'm going to create a new animation, and I'm going to call it ears on. I'm just going to save it in my main assets folder. You can save it in any of your other folders, like if you have an animation folder, you can do that. I'm just going to save it in my main assets for now. Click save. I can edit this animation as it is, but as you can see, it also creates right here an animation controller, which we're going to talk about in a minute. And as you can see, it created an ears on anim file, which doesn't have anything in it. So we're in the ears on animation folder and we're going to add a property. Now we're going to go down to our ears. We're going to click is active. We're going to delete the second keyframe. We're going to click on the first keyframe, control or command C for copy, click on the next one over, and I'm going to do control or command V, and then as you can see, it'll paste it into the second one, so I have the two that are exactly the same. Make sure this is checked on, and we're good to go. That's all you need for the on animation. Now I'm going to drop down and create a new clip, and I'm going to call this ears off. I'm going to save that one, and I'm going to add another property to this new animation. Go to ears the same way as we did before, click the is active, delete the second keyframe, but before we copy and paste this keyframe I'm actually going to uncheck this so ears are off and I'm going to click command C for copy click one keyframe over and as you can see it took the ears right off in the preview command V so you have two keyframes and as you can see those are the same exact ones as each other and that is all now once you've animated your ears off and ears on you can go ahead and delete this controller because we're not going to use that anymore and you can delete your duplicate and turn on your original because we're not actually doing any more animations so we have that animation down and now that we have these two animation files I'm actually going to take these and drag them into my animations folder. Now these are animation files and if you want to be able to add animations to your playable layers which we're going to go into much more in depth in the next video you're going to want to have an animation controller that fits these. If you want to make a new animations controller all you have to do is right click click create animation controller you can name it whatever you want I'm just gonna leave it as new animation controller and then when you double click on this you can see this is the area which you'll be putting all of your animations and I know it looks really intimidating right now but we're gonna go over all of this and how it works and how we can use it in the next video so for now to get ready for the next video make sure you get all of your anim files ready to go before you start with anything else because this will save you a lot of time in the end rather than having to go back and make your animation files on the fly while you're trying to set up your SDK and your playable layers. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.